Well, 680 Richard Southern joins us now. Richard, U.S. President Donald Trump has announced that he's pulling America out of the Iran nuclear deal. That decision having a major impact on oil, but also Toronto gas prices. Yeah, absolutely. And Trump, Francis, has long uh, criticized this deal, which, by the way, involved lifting sanctions on Iran in exchange for the country, pretty much doing away with its nuclear material. Uh, Trump had said the deal is far more beneficial to Iran than it is to the U.S. Here's uh, Trump in the White House today. The fact is, this was a horrible, one-sided deal that should have never, ever been made. It didn't bring calm, it didn't bring peace, and it never will. So putting sanctions back in place on Iran could reduce the flow of Iranian oil onto the market and therefore could have oil prices heading higher. Uh, Texas tea, uh, $69.82 per barrel tonight, close to a, an almost four-year high. And yes, the price of gas here in Toronto going up another penny at midnight tonight. That'll bring the average to a buck thirty-seven nine, getting close to a record, about 30 cents more a liter than we were paying a year ago, Francis. Mm. Well, WestJet is uh, showing off what business class will look like on its brand new 787 jets. Uh, what does it look like? Well, first of all, a new livery, too, as you can see oh, on yeah, the outside. Mm -hmm. So they're going to take delivery of these new jets early next year. Inside in the business class cabin, their first business class cabin, looks almost exactly the same as what Air Canada is doing with these same sort of reverse herringbone seats, uh, lie flat beds in business class, uh, on-demand dining. There's also going to be a premium economy cabin. We're looking there at the, the uh, uh, Strictly Economy. Um, the, these new jets, uh, which they'll take delivery of early next year, will allow WestJet to fly to Asia and to South America for the first time, Francis. No pricing information released. WestJet stock actually took a big hit today. It was down almost 10% as the company reported weaker than expected earnings. Mm -hmm. And the pilots union set to maybe walk off the job within the month. They have been without a contract now since last September. Hmm. Uber is uh, showing off its uh, flying car prototype. The company says it will have this off the ground literally very soon. So they say, I want to show it to you. So there it is. There's, you know, Francis getting into his flying Uber maybe in the next two years. They say they're going to have this off the ground in 2018. The prototype looks more like a drone than a helicopter with four rotors on each wing. So the company says it's safe. Uh, they're going to roll this out in uh, Dallas and Los Angeles in uh, 2020 and then expand it to more cities. Uh, they, the, the planes would take off and land vertically from designated rooftops. As for the price, Uber says initially you'd pay the same as an Uber black ride for the same distance. Really? And they will, yeah, so not wow. that much. And they said they'll eventually reduce it to an Uber X type price once more people use it. So they say they're actually going full steam ahead with that, Francis. A flying Uber. I need Uber. it to come to Mississauga. <laughs> Because traffic is nuts. You could sleep yeah, in, uh, Francis. You could be in the newsroom in no time. I, I'm sure there's enough room on this uh, patio to uh, to land the Uber right here. <laughs> Just watch out for Adam Styles now. You That's right. I'll be careful. I will be careful. <laughs> so office attire has uh, become a lot more casual over the years. I don't know if, if you're talking about me right now, but a new report finds that Canadian employees dress at work might actually affect their chances of a promotion. I think, we look, okay. I think we look okay, Francis. We don't look <laughs> too bad. Uh, but Robert Half says, you know, 83% of workers and 78% of managers feel now the clothing affects the chance of being promoted. Canadian workers only spend seven minutes on average choosing their office attire. Interestingly enough, though, it found that piercings, tattoos, jeans and leggings are a lot more acceptable today than they were just five years ago. Don't have to worry about that so much. They do say watch out for flip-flops, for shorts and for tank tops. They are much less acceptable. So it certainly, uh, you know, matters what you wear. And as they always say, you got to dress for the job you want, not the job you have, Francis. So Richard, you can feel comfortable showing all your piercings and tattoos oh, now. Good. good. Better, better tune in tomorrow <laughs> then. It'll be a, a business report to remember, Francis. Oh, I'm sure it would be. <laughs> Uh, no Frills is uh, officially launching their own clothing line. Yeah, I don't know if you want to wear this to work or not, but you can uh, get a No Frills uh, branded uh, t-shirt now. They're rolling out what they call their holler line, which they say, you know, means someone who gets something for less. So there's t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts. This is part of, part of a broader marketing campaign that also has uh, the discount grocer rolling out kind of a music video. Kind of looks like a, a rap video. 
Uh, there is, uh, you know, burnouts in the parking lot, people uh, walking on the uh, ceilings in the no frills. Uh, this is all part of a trend here by companies to create some limited edition clothing and create some buzz. A lot of competition in the Canadian grocery space. No frills, of course, owned by Loblaws, Francis. Well, we do know that uh, not every product to hit store shelves is successful. There's a new book that's looking at some of the biggest product flops of all time. Yeah, I want to show you some of them. You probably remember a lot of these. There's a lot of actually food related ones like New Coke back in 1985 they tried to create a product that tasted like pepsi and they abandoned it within uh, a month so that was a big disaster uh, late 80s early 90s pepsi am and crystal pepsi pepsi tried to make a a cola for breakfast mm -hmm. didn't go over very well uh, 1993 the apple newton 700 dollars didn't do a whole lot very much an example of yes. apple's bad early days uh, 1995 nintendo virtual boy they tried to get into vr with that big thing apparently there wasn't much uh, virtual reality about it, a big flop. 1996, McDonald's Arch Deluxe. They spent $100 million marketing this wow. burger. Yeah, it didn't stay on the menu very long. Uh, Orbit Soda, you might remember this. Looked like a lava lamp. You could drink that. Uh, flop, but it's still popular online. There are some people that will sell you that online. Um, what do we got? Oh, oh, oh wow chips. They, remember, or Lestra. They, had, they were. I don't remember those. So they were fat free and everyone uh -huh. loved it. Fat free chips, but they had this chemical to make it fat free oh. called Olestra. Nobody could digest it. Everyone right. was in the bathroom with stomach That's aches. That's a problem. Big flop. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Francis. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's Amanda.